It's important to know the difference between surface area and volume. One of the best ways to describe the difference between them is to think about wrapping a present in a box. To give someone a present, you need to think about the size of the box when you think about the size of the present. How much space do you need inside the box to hold the present? The inside measurement of the box capacity is the volume. And then you have to wrap the present, so you need to figure out how much wrapping paper you'll need. That's a different calculation than the one you needed to determine the box's volume. To find out how much paper you need to wrap the box, you need to add up the sum of all the sides of the box, and that gives you your surface area. Depending on an object's shape, to measure surface area and volume, you need to consider the area, the size a bounded region takes up expressed in square units, circumference, the distance around the edge of a circle, diameter, the distance across a circle through its center point, hypotenuse, the side opposite the 90 degree angle in a right triangle, also the longest side of a right triangle. The perimeter, the total distance around the outside of a polygon. The radius, the measure from the center of a circle to a point on the circle. And pi, the circumference of any circle divided by its diameter, rounded to the number 3.14. So how can we put the concepts of surface area and volume to a practical use? How about like this? The swimming pool needs to be prepared for the swim season. The first thing that has to happen to the pool in the off season is to apply a fresh coat of paint. That means the painter needs to figure out how much paint will be needed to do the job. For this, the painter will calculate the surface area. This pool is a rectangle, so the formula is area equals length times the width of each wall, plus the length times the width of the pool's floor. That is the surface area. The painter wants this calculation to be accurate, so there's enough paint to do the job, but not so much that there will be an excess amount left over. The next thing that they want to do to the pool is to add a warning strip around the edges. That involves measuring the perimeter using the formula perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. After the paint dries, the pool has to be filled with water. To know how much water to use, we have to calculate the volume by using the formula volume equals length times width times height. Finally, to keep the pool clean, there has to be a cover made to fit. To know how much material to buy to make the cover, our final calculation has to be the area. To figure out the area, we simply multiply the length by the width. So whether you're wrapping a present or filling up a swimming pool for the season, you need to know the difference between surface area and volume.